Daniel 2 verses 44 to 45. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Forasmuch as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands, and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold, the great God hath made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter. And the dream is certain, and the interpretation thereof sure. This final empire that comes after the destruction of the feet of iron mixed with murray clay is not of the kingdoms of the times of the Gentiles, but is the kingdom of God. This is known as the Millennial Kingdom, which continues to be prophesied in Daniel, but also throughout the whole of Scripture, especially in Revelation. This is the reign of the Messiah, which is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is God in the flesh. It should be considered that when Jesus had talked about himself, as prophesied in Psalm 118 verse 22, that the stone which the builders rejected has become the head of the corner, in which we know that Jesus is that stone. What should finally be considered, and the main point that can be taken away after examining this prophetic outline in consideration with the rest of the kingdoms, is that this is to be a literal kingdom, as prophecies about the Messiah also indicate, as there is nothing that suggests otherwise. As we continue through this series, we will find that the prophecies tied to the book of Daniel offer a considerable foundation in history, which also provides us hope for the prophecies that are made for our future.